Welcome to one of my first tutorials in quite a long time. We're going to start with Photoshop today. I'm going to show you how to colorize a picture, a black and white picture. Now you see this pic, I got this picture of this girl, woman, whatever, here. And the first thing you're going to have to make sure is that if you go to image, mode, it has to be an RGB color. If it's not, change it to this because you're not going to be able to, or this one, CMYK color. If it's not one of these, you're going to be not going to be able to change the color. For example, grayscale, which quite a few black and white pictures are usually are. They change, they just change to grayscale, and that's it. So make sure it's an RGB color, and then we can start off. This um, you're going to do this by just selecting portions of her face here and colorizing them. You can take whatever way to select them you want. You can take the polygonal lasso tool. Lasso tool. You can take the lasso tool. I don't quite recommend the magnetic lasso tool. It's not that precise. You could even take the magic wand, but that's even worse. And you can take the quick mask mode, which is I don't even recommend that. It's really easy to work with. In case you don't know this mode, you just um, turn it on, and then you can take the pen the pencil and you just draw on here with black and that is then little you see this is this pink orange color if you draw it with white you can erase it again or you can just take the eraser Oops. works this sorry <laughs> my bad <laughs> didn't mean for that to happen the eraser apparently also depends on the color but you can take different tools here change the pen size and whatever it's easy to use you just paint what you want let's say we want this weird blob here and then you turn quick mo mask mode off again by clicking this and this a bit irritating everything that you didn't paint is now selected all of this out here is selected so you go to select inverse and now this weird blob that we just painted is selected if you want that control D to deselect that and let's start on we'll just take the mouth first so I hold control spacebar and drag this uh, around the mouth and then we can start off I got the pen here and we can just sorry my bad forgot to go in quick mask mode you can see it's enabled when this um, little box is around it and then just paint the mouth like this you just I'm gonna go quite rough through this tutorial because I don't want to bore you and then once it's getting small on the side you're just going to have to t turn your brush, brush size down this is really rough I suggest going into a lot more detail for this this is going to look horrible but I think you get the point point. and eventually you're going to get to something like this hopefully a lot better than this and then you just turn off quick mask mode and we're, what we're going to do is we're going to save the selection as a layer mask just so we can edit it later. So you go on channels and press this little button down here which says save selection as channel and then you got the selection here. You know what? I'm going to undo that. I made quite a lot of mistakes here. Select inverse. Now we've got the mouth selected. That's what we wanted. Now we're going to create that mask layer mask here and we can just click on the name here twice we can just call it mouth and then click the RGB channel again and we've got this saved if we ever don't have our selection anymore we want to change something to the mouth we just control click on here and we've got the mouth selected now that we've got that we're going to zoom out a bit by with alt spacebar I can zoom out we're going to go to image adjustments and you can use all these color correction adjustments. I'm going to stick with hue and saturation because it's, in my opinion, the quickest. We'll just click on colorize. You turn this to like six. Oh no, that's the skin tone. We gotta to take like a reddish tone. Something red. Maybe not quite that reddish. I'm no expert on what color lips should have. It's easier if you adjust this later again according to your skin tone. I hope this doesn't look too bad. Please don't judge me on this. That is horrible, I think. Oh god. Hmm. 
know it's a little messed up. Let me just change something like this. Oh, this looks horrible. Just take a color you want. Go to the, you can go with the um, curves is something useful. You need to know what you're doing though in curves. It's not that easy to work with. Color balance is quite easy. And yeah, I'd, you should find a color that matches the mouth. This is, well, don't take this color. It looks odd for some reason. Well then let's go on. Now we take the face, I'm gonna take the polygonal mask tool for the face. I'm just gonna click around the face here. Um, also quite rough and if you get back here it's just rough in the dark you can't really see and there's the problem with the hair this is really useful if you've got black hair on your person like this woman obviously has because then there you can't do much wrong you just roughly go through the skin tones where you can still see the skin up here, then all the way back here, down here. Now this back here seems to be quite out of focus. So then you've got the face. Now what you gotta look out for is that if you've got the, that was a mistake. I don't, uh, how was this done again? Control Alt, Control Alt. Control Alt, click on the mouth and that automatically gets subtracted subtracted from your selection so you've got this around the mouth not the mouth itself and you're manually gonna have to take out the eyes as well you just up here check you've got this little thing clicked it's abstracted from the mask and then you just select the eyes but please do this with a little more precision precision than than I'm using here also well, you might not have to take those, but this is, that was too close. Let's just go around here. There, that should be the face. And now we've got the face selected. We're going to save this as face. And we're going to go to image adjustments, hue and saturation. Um. 16 has always been quite a saturated skin tone I'm seeing right now. So you go to like 22, which is pretty cool. It's like 22 here. And then the skin tone looks pretty cool. Yeah, the skin tone looks pretty realistic. And the lips are fine. They're, they're working. So what a mistake I've done here is that for your face, you should also select this skin right here. Just make sure you do because otherwise you get it dark grayed out like I did. You could go into your face and now and just change that by selecting it and adding to the mask with this little thingy which adds to the mask you currently have. And then you can go for the eyes. If you want to colorize them as well. Which you might have to. I don't know many people with black eyes or gray eyes. Well, gray eyes, a few people do have. Select the eyes there. And call this eyes, or let's call this irises. I hope that's the plural. I'm not that sure. And we'll go to image adjustments, unit saturation again. Colorize them. And take a color that you want like these really dark green eyes yellowish that's fine that looks pretty cool maybe that's a bit too green you're gonna have to play around a bit and this is basically the these are basically basic, well basically the basics that sounds pretty stupid and up in here in the hair with the highlights you're gonna have to be careful as well by selecting that how you select that as I said here with the black hair um, it doesn't make any difference if you select it with with your selection with your face because the black doesn't really make any difference. If you've got blonde people, it's going to look quite a bit 
quite a lot different. And you've got the neck as well, which will be another selection. You just create a new mask with that, give it the same tone as the face. And the shirt, just easy selection. I think you should, this should be easy to understand by now, and it's really a simple pro uh, process. At first I thought this was something really complicated, I've never wanted to actually try colorizing a black and white photo. But now since I know how it works, it's really something simple. Just check it out. Thanks for watching. Hope to hear from you later. Send comments, comments on my blog, whatever. Just take a look around. See ya.